Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create this scene. So in Blender, I will get rid of this cube first. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create an ocean and the surrounding environment here in which the fish special down and up the ocean surface. So let's add a plane and then uh, create some effects so that uh, this plane looks like an ocean. Now let's add a glossy surface onto the face of the ocean and then let's change the color to blue so that it looks like an ocean. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a modifier over here which is called ocean modifier which is readily available in Blender. And then let's change a few parameters like resolution, change it to 15. And then uh, you can also change a few more parameters, but not much. And uh, then create some waves over here. So let's uh, increase the choppiness of the water to something like four or two. Two should be okay, all right. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create some uh, waves which are animated on the surface of the ocean. For that, I'm going to first uh, key in the first frame at the time 1. So press I over here to lock it. And then at the frame 120, I'm going to key in another time which is four maybe and then press i again to lock it so this is going to be a very short uh, clip of something like four to five seconds only of 120 frames and here you go there the ocean looks animated so there are waves going up and down the ocean all right one another thing that we might do is that uh, we can change the environment a little bit of, but first scale it down a little bit so that we do not lose the control we do not need a very vast ocean and then let's create a background by changing the color of the background first so right now the background is pretty dark so we might want to lighten it up a little bit just like that okay uh, all right so uh, another thing that we are going to do over here is that we are also going to create a sky background but first let's change the lighting as well so in outdoors you might want to change the lighting setting to Sun and then uh, reduce the strength a lot something like 10 should be okay so that it looks like daylight okay that being done what we are now gonna do is that we are gonna to create a sky background around the ocean for that we are gonna need a cylinder and uh, what I'm trying to do over here is that I'm trying to envelop this ocean surface inside this cylinder but we do not need uh, the whole cylinder right now what we need is just the back portion back curved portion of the cylinder so let's get rid of these front faces first so that we are just left with a semi cylinder kind of thing so press x and delete these faces okay and we also do not need these upper and lower faces. So just uh, get rid of them as well. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to create a texture and superimpose a texture onto the cylinder. But first scale it up. To match the size of the ocean and then smoothen the surface a bit now it looks good 
Now let's change the texture of this cylinder and uh, for creating a sky effect what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use a image which is kind of a wallpaper of a sky. So you might download uh, these kind of wallpapers very easily uh, depending upon your requirement you can always use uh, the appropriate wallpaper so one that I have looks uh, okay let's see where it is yeah it, it looks something like this and then uh, so it will not be visible right now let's go to the uh, yeah texture mode okay so here the sky is superimposed onto the cylinder but it is not aligned properly so let's go to the edit mode and then by pressing a select the surface of the cylinder and then uv unwrap it okay now it's unwrapped but it's upside uh, not upside but it's sideways so let's go to uv editor and then press a to select the cylinder and then rotate it by 90 degrees so press r and then 90. okay and now move it by pressing g to appropriate position and then scale it down a little bit vertically and scale it up a bit horizontally so that it covers the entire sky section we do not need the ocean section right now because we already have created our own ocean all right now it looks perfect okay now let's go back to the 3d viewport and let's see how it looks like okay now i think it looks okay mm, now again go back to the object mode and adjust the position of uh, the sky properly onto the ocean so i will just move it a bit upwards so that uh, it uh, it is aligned with uh, the ocean surface okay now it looks good all right now the idea here is uh, to create the ocean and the fish effect into it but first uh, let's go to the camera view and then uh, press n to open up this uh, properties window lock camera to view and then adjust the camera accordingly so that uh, what i'm trying to do is i'm uh, trying to capture the first half of the scene with the uh, uh, first upper portion of the scene with the sky and uh, lower portion with the ocean to match it perfectly okay so in render view it looks something like this you can always play with the lighting and uh, other things other parameters to match it perfectly with uh, our requirements okay so now what we are gonna do is that uh, we are going to find out a clip with a fish in it okay so go to google and uh, search something like a whale jumping but also add keywords green screen so what i'm trying to look for here is a green screen uh, clip of a whale or a dolphin or any fish jumping out of the ocean and then going back in okay go to the videos here and then uh, look for appropriate clip the yeah the second one looks good to me uh, for my purpose so let's have a look at it okay yeah this looks good yeah that would uh, serve my purpose so uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open this clip in youtube and then i'm gonna download this youtube video so let's go to youtube and then um, copy this uh, url over here 
and then open any uh, YouTube video downloader which can download this video so I'm opening uh, this particular YouTube video downloader and then uh, click this uh, URL over here and then I'm gonna download this video in highest resolution possible okay so now I have uh, this video downloaded in mp4 format which I can use further to process and use it in my scene that having done now let's open another blender application remember to use a fresh application not the previous one in which we created the ocean because uh, if you do that and uh, try to process the uh, video over here it will overwrite the previous uh, scene that you have created so open a fresh blender application and then go to the composite mode and uh, get rid of the render layers node and uh, add an input movie clip so that node uh, will contain the movie clip that I just downloaded out of YouTube so select the the video clip that you just downloaded okay now uh, connect it to the composite so that uh, it gets composited with other nodes that I'm just gonna add in a few moments but also uh, let's have a viewer over here so that uh, we can view whatever is coming out of this process uh, right in the background okay something like this now here you can uh, view whatever processing you're doing with this video in real time now I'm gonna add a keying node so that keying node would enable me to get rid of this all green color uh, from the scene so let's select this uh, color the green color and uh, now we are not seeing anything happening over here because we have not connected this keying node to the viewer node uh, once we do that like this okay now what is happening is that we have keyed out all the green color from the scene and uh, what we are left with is non-green color image portions of that clip something like this fish which is in black and white and uh, it, with each frame you have uh, this fish moving up and down the ocean splashing back into it okay this is a very short clip about just uh, 100 frames or you know four to five seconds long so we just need up to 100 frames over here so uh, I'm just gonna render this uh, scene this processed scene into an image sequence which I will then use in my previous uh, ocean and sky scene so just uh, end the frame at 100 rest of the things are okay yeah you, uh, change the output folder to something where uh, to somewhere you want to store your image sequences otherwise it will store it in some temporary folder and then also remember to use RGBA color mode so that you have a transparent image um, produced when you render it okay rest of the parameters are okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render this into animation and uh, yeah so here you have all the images stored here in this folder and now I'm going back to my blender app where my ocean and sky is created and here what I'm gonna add is a image and not just image its images as planes what this thing does is that it asks you for the images that you want to add into the scene as a plane but remember to check this animate image sequence checkbox otherwise 
it will appear in the scene as 100 different images one after another. We don't want that. Rest of the settings are okay. And then press import images as plain. Okay. Now we have just one plane over here, which contains all the 100 images that we just created out of our uh, whale scene. Initially, this uh, looks like a purple plane, but uh, in a moment we will see how it looks like when it's rendered. Scale it a little bit, position it as per your scene, just above the ocean because uh, the scene we have over here is a fish coming out of the ocean. So what you need is that this plane set just above the ocean surface so that the proper effects um, are there. Okay, so, all right, this uh, looks good. And uh, what more we can do is that we can adjust our camera and the orientation of this plane so that uh, the plane is parallel or, 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 or just facing the camera right in front and it's not sideways. And then render the animation. Okay, so here is the final scene that we have created. Thanks so much for watching.